Hey coders and welcome to episode 4 of our script servers playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about the on change trigger. So this trigger is very similar to the on edit trigger that we talked about last video. The, the on edit trigger however only fires when the contents of a cell of a spreadsheet are changed or modified. The on change trigger is a lot more encompassing this trigger fires whenever the contents of a cell is changed or when anything about the spreadsheet is changed. So if you insert a sheet, if you delete a row, if you change the formatting of a cell, all of those things will fire the onChange method. So let's jump into the code and see what this thing can do. Remember, the method onChange is an installable trigger and there's no such variant for a simple trigger. So we can run it from a standalone script, but we need to run it from the script app. So this is our problem. Let's say that we wanted to create a change log, and I have it here in the spreadsheet. And then we want to record some data, the type of change, the sheet name, the range if applicable, and then also the timestamp. So anytime something changes in this spreadsheet, let's say we want to record it and put it down right in this sheet right here that says change log. So what, how we could do that is we could set up the function, we would get the sheet, we would access spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet, get sheet by name, change log, store that in a constant called sheet, and then get the last row of that sheet. And then this is where the magic happens. We need to get the range, and then we'll just call the last row plus one, and then we'll set the value. So a lot of this data, we can add more, but a lot of this data is coming from the event parameter. So let's see, so this first one type of change, that's going to come from E, and then the property change type from that event. And then the next one, which is going to be sheet name, and then also we can do range. These are going to be coming from the source property, but however, the source property returns a spreadsheet. So once we have that class of spreadsheet, we can access all of the methods from a spreadsheet class. So things like get sheet name, get active sheet, get active range, get A1 notation, so this is a brilliant uh, property right here because once we have a spreadsheet class or a type, we have a um, an instance of spreadsheet, we can we can access all of the methods that come from that class. Okay, lastly we have the uh, the JavaScript new date, and that will get our timestamp. So let's set it up. Remember, this is going to be from an installable trigger. So we need to access the script app, and then we go down to new trigger name of our trigger today is going to be log changes which is right here and then we'll drop a line we'll say for spreadsheet and then we'll give it the key which is also known as the ID copy quote paste and then we need to say our brilliant on change method. So again, on change is going to be very similar to on edit, but it's going to allow a lot, it's going to capture all of the changes while as, uh, on edit only captures um, if a cell is modified, but on change will capture things like if a, a new sheet is made or new formatting, stuff like that. You'll see in a second. Lastly, we need to end it with create like all triggers. And if we save it, and we set up trigger and we run it, then now our trigger is set up. So now anytime we make a change, this function right here, log changes, it's going to run and then we are going to see it in our change log. So let's say we are in this, um, we're in the sheet Detroit and we start making some changes like we say, um, like say we say, hello, that's the person's name. And then we go over to Super Bowls and we say, all right, uh, actually I want to unfilter this all and then say we want to, we didn't really like Super Bowl 17, so we're actually going to delete that. Actually, before we do that, let's actually delete these two, but then we still don't like Super Bowl 17, so we're going to delete this one. All right, but then we wanna make a new sheet and apparently it's gonna be called sheet 11, but actually let's change that and let's say, my newest sheet and then we say uh, I don't know let's change the format of this and give it a red background and actually I'm going to give all of this a green background 
That looks pretty cool. All right, not really, but we just need some changes going on here. So let's go into the change log now, and you can see a lot of this has been edited, or this has been logged. So if you remember, we first edited Detroit right here. We gave it hello, and then we went to our Super Bowl sheet, and then we deleted those two cells in, set in C56 to D56, and then what we did was re we deleted the row, so here again, this this remove row this wouldn't have been captured in our on edit trigger had we just set up an on edit trigger but now we have on change so it did that all right and then after that we uh, we made a new sheet and that is called insert grid it was sheet eleven after that we re we uh, let's see what did we do here we went to Super Bowls and we did something I'm not really sure what we did there but um, it was captured nonetheless but anyways we renamed this my newest sheet. And then after that, we started formatting, as you can see here, A1 and also B2 through H17. And all of these are captured on a timestamp. So that's pretty cool. That wouldn't have been captured alone on an on edit. So if you need to, you can hide this sheet and then just run, let it run on the background while people make all their changes to the, this spreadsheet. But um, as for that, that is the on change trigger, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.